All right, number six, 2024 AP Calculus BC, free response number six. The series one, probably one of the harder ones, maybe, I don't know, I haven't looked at it yet. Um, if there are any corrections, I will put in a pinned comment. Uh, so check those before you let me know. Okay, McLaurin series is given by this function. Okay, just came up. McLaurin series converges to f of x for all x in the interval of convergence. It can be shown that McLaurin series has a radius of convergence of six. Okay, so they give that to you. Determine whether McLaurin series of f converges diverges to x equals six and give a reason for your answer. So this is a test of convergence. So when we plug in x equals six, this is gonna be the sum from n equals one to infinity. That's gonna be n plus one, six to the n over n squared, six to the n. Six to the n's will cancel, so this is the sum from n equals one to infinity of um, n plus one over n squared. Now, my recommendation, whenever you have a rational function, we're gonna do a limit comparison test. Okay, limit comparison. What are you gonna compare against? Well, as n goes to infinity, this series looks a lot like dropping that one. As n gets really big, that plus one is negligible. So we're gonna compare against n over n squared, which is one over n. Okay, so that's kind of how I pick what I'm gonna do. So we know, so we're gonna do a limit comparison test with the sum from n equals one to infinity, one over n, which diverges by the um, uh, p-series test because p is equal to one, which is less than or equal to one, okay? So this one we know diverges. So now we're gonna run a limit comparison test. So we're gonna limit as n goes infinity of this divided by that. So n plus one over n, it doesn't matter which one you put on top. So that's gonna be the limit as n goes to infinity. Just flip this guy, make it n over one like that. And that's gonna cancel one of these. You're gonna get n plus one over n. As an n goes to infinity, that's very negligible. So it becomes n over n, which is one. Okay, and so because one is between zero and infinity, it means both series diverge because I already showed you this one diverge. So both series diverge. They either both converge or both diverge, but I know this diverges by the p-series test. So this diverges. Okay, it can be shown that f of negative three is equal to this. Okay, that's just plugging in negative three in there for x, which makes sense which they simplify that negative three to the n over six to the n is negative one half to the n. And the first three terms of the series is S3. Show that this, this is an, this is an error bound. So alternating, this is an alternating series error bound. So that means the error bound for the alternating series test is gonna be the absolute value of A sub four, the fourth term in this series. So I'm, I'm just gonna plug four into here, which is equal to the sum, or not the sum, just plugging in four because they did S sub three. So they did the first three terms, one, two, and three. So we're gonna go to the next term. So that's gonna be four plus one over four squared times negative one half to the four absolute value. That'll just get rid of that negative part there if there is a negative. So this is five over 16. Four plus one is five, that's 16. And one over two, two, one, two to the four is 16. So it's one over 16. And that's 500, 256. And I don't know how you wanna do that. That is less than five over 250, which is one over 50, right? One over 50 to compare to that, is, because it's a bigger denominator. So that would be what I would justify. So that's smaller than that. And that, that, um, that concludes that part. Find the general term of the McLaurin series for F prime, the derivative of F, find the radius of convergence of the McLaurin series. So um, F prime is just going to be the derivative of this thing. So F prime of X, just do power rule of this thing. It's gonna be the sum from n equals. Now, I always like to check the boundary. Is, is one gonna still be in there? Well, this is x to the one. So when I take the derivative, it's the power rule still applies when one is the exponent. So we can still go from one to infinity. And this is gonna be n plus one x. To, and then the derivative of x is just n x to the n minus one over n squared six to, times six to the n. So that will cancel and you'll get the sum from n equals one to infinity, n plus one x to the n minus one divided by um, n times six to the n. Okay, so that is our general series there. Find the radius of convergence. I don't know if they want you to do it again, prove the, the radius of convergence again, or just know that the derivative is gonna have the same radius of convergence. The radius of convergence ought to be six, but let's go ahead and run, let's go ahead and run a ratio test just to be sure. So we're gonna take the limit as n goes to infinity and you're gonna plug in n plus one 
uh, of this thing. So it's gonna be absolute value of n plus two times x to the n over n plus one, six to the n, n plus one. And then you're just gonna multiply by the reciprocal. That, you're gonna divide by this, but multiply by the reciprocal of it um, and without the n plus one part, right? So, so n minus one. So um, let's see, let's see. This is gonna cancel with that. And then this, you're gonna be left with the six. So you're gonna have n plus two. We'll group all the n's together. You have n plus two, you'll have n, you'll have x on the numerator, and then you'll have n plus one squared, or just n plus one s plus one, and then times six has to be less than one. Or let's well, let's evaluate the limit for the rate for it to converge. It has to be less than one. Now, as n goes to infinity, um, what you can do is just any any of these terms like n so much bigger than two, and n is bigger than one, and because as n goes to infinity, those are very negligible. So this is n squared over n squared, which cancels, so you get absolute value of x over six is less than one, absolute value of x is less than six, and so that your radius of convergence is still six. But there's also a theorem that kind of tells you that if the original series converges, um, has a radius of convergence of six, the derivative is gonna have the same radius of convergence. Now, the thing is, is the endpoints might not converge the same way. Like, so the endpoints might converge here for six and negative six, might not for the derivative. That one you have to check. All right, um, so that was C. You probably didn't have to run all of that ratio series. You probably could have just ended with that one and probably been okay. Maybe you just indicate you know that because the, or something like that. But I just ran the ratio test just to, just for completeness. All right, use the ratio test to determine the radius of convergence of the Maclaurin series for G. Oh, okay, so we're gonna just do another one. So we're gonna do the limit, N goes to infinity. So we're gonna do N plus one. So that's gonna be N plus two x to the two n plus one. Replace all the n's with n plus one, basically. And then we're gonna multiply by this guy, but reciprocal, n squared three to the n over n plus one x to the two n. Okay, so this is gonna equal limit n goes to infinity. So um, let's do a little bit of canceling. So the x to the two n cancels. I have an x, this is two n plus two. So when I subtract it, I still have an x squared left over. That's gonna cancel. So then I'm left with absolute value of n plus two, n squared over n plus one cubed, and then a three here, and then there's an x still in the numerator. And just like before, this thing, when I do, the, as n goes infinity, n plus two looks like n because two is very, like when I plug in 10 million, 10 million plus two is still like 10 million about. Same with the plus one there. So I get n cubed over n cubed, which cancels. So this becomes at five x minus over three, less than one, absolute value of x is less than three. And so the radius is equal to three, or the interval is negative three, less than x, less than three. And the radius of convergence would be three for that one, okay?